This is question 41 on section 6.3. The question is asking us to solve. Find all of the solutions. Okay, so back in the day, we would go like this. We would cube root both sides. And we would say that the answer is negative 1, which is correct. But because it's a cubed root, how many solutions are there? Three. There are three solutions. Yeah. That's only one of them. So what we're doing is we're doing the cubed root of negative 1, which in other words means negative 1 plus 0i, which in trig form means what? So r would be negative 1 squared plus 0 squared, which is 1. And theta would be the inverse tangent of 0, which is either 0 or 180, right? But if we graph it, that's easy because it's right there. So that would be 180 degrees, yes? Does that make sense? 0, 90, 180, 270, 180, right? Okay, so then our trig form would be 1, which I don't even know if we need to write that. Cosine 180 plus I sine 180. So then we have to use the little formula for K equals 0, 1, and 2. Well, if we plug in 0, then we have just this problem here. So the cosine of 180 is negative 1, and the sine of 180 is 0. So that's 1 times negative 1 plus i times 0, which gives us negative 1, right? So that gives us that answer. So I don't think we need to find it again. So that leads to that answer. So let's go ahead and do k equals 1. Oh, and I guess we forgot that we have to go to the 1 over 3 power on the 1, but that's still just 1. Okay. So then um, we would go 1 to the 1 over 3 power, which is still 1, times cosine of 180 plus, is it 360? And then divided by 3. Wait, did I do this one wrong? Okay, so we have 1 to the 1 third power times the cosine of 180 plus 0 divided by 3, right? And then we have 1 to the 1 third plus the sine stuff. And then cosine of 180 plus 360 divided by 3 plus the same of the sine stuff. And then 1 to the 1 third cosine 180 plus 720 divided by 3 plus I sine of that same angle. So um, 180 divided by 3 is actually 60. 180 plus 360. For some reason I'm not calculating my head very well today. 540 divided by 3. Oh, there's the answer that, okay. So there's the 180 answer. So that answer actually comes from k equals 1. So this is k equals 0, k equals 1, k equals 2, and k equals 1 gives us the negative 1 answer. Anyway. And then the last one would be 180 plus 720 divided by 3, which is 300. Okay. So these are all 1's, so we just go 1 times the cosine of 60, I'm running out of room, the cosine of 60 is 1 half, so from this answer here we end up with 1 times the cosine of 60 plus i sine 60, which would be 1 half plus i squared of 3 over 2. 
or I don't know where the eye goes. That's fine. Is that all right? And then the next one would be cosine 180 plus I sine 180. Um, cosine of 180 is negative 1. And that's 0, so that would just be negative 1. And then the last one would be 1 times the cosine of 300 plus I sine 300, <coughs> which is still a 60 degree reference angle, isn't it? So cosine, all students take calculus, that would be a positive one half. And this time this one would be negative. So there's the three solutions. I think, that, what does the back of the book say? Oh, look, my answer's right here. Yes, we are right. We are correct. Awesome. Huh? 45? It's the same thing, right? I'll get you started. Number 45 is x squared plus 2i equals 0. So to solve this, we could go x squared equals negative 2i. So then we square root both sides. So x is the square root of negative 2i. Wait, and can we do plus or minus? I wonder if we even need to use the formula on this one. I don't know. Let's, let's see. So what is the square root of a negative 2? I don't think this is going to give us the right answers. Yeah, okay, so we would have plus or minus i square root of 2i. Okay, the answers in the book are negative 1 plus i and 1, 1 minus i. So I'm not sure how to get to that from that. Oh dear. I don't know how to do this one. Yes. So could we use quadratic formula? Would that be overkill? Oh, well, what we're doing, okay, let's just, I'm trying to take this too far. What we're doing is just we have this right here, right? So that means we're doing the square roots of 0 minus 2i. Right? So trig form would be 2, because 0 squared plus negative 2 squared square rooted would be 2. Cosine, and then the, it's at 0, negative 2, so what's the angle? Seventy. Why is the angle two seventy? How did I figure that out? From the graph. So I figured out the angle from the graph is two seventy. So then you do your k equals zero and k equals one on this thing to get your answers. Can you finish it from there? So this thing that I was trying to attempt to do. No, you just take it to that, and then you do it this way. Which makes more sense than trying to do it that way. Got it? Can you finish it from there? With the little formula, and k equals 0 and k equals 1? No one's answering. I'm assuming that means you're finishing it, and that I should stop talking to you and just let you do it.